Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video has me excited because it allows me to share with some lucky person my love of tech and give that person a quality keyboard that they might not be able to have on their desk. So with that said, welcome to Stupid Bullets Tech. This video is going to combine several things. First, a build and review of the Drop Karina keyboard, a really nice 60% board that I received a few weeks ago, but even better is how one of you is going to win it. Details on how will be explained later in the video, short form rules below, and a complete rule set linked to my Discord as well. As always, this giveaway is in no way affiliated with YouTube. If you've watched my Twitch stream, you know that I love tech, tools, gaming peripherals, and the like. You also know that one of the things that makes me happiest is to give this stuff away and hopefully brighten someone's day. When I was planning this, it would have been easy just to build the board with inexpensive parts and no one would have complained, but I've always believed that if you're gonna do something, then that thing is worth doing as well as possible. So here's the plan. The keyboard is the Drop Karina, a 61 key fixed layout ANC board in a high profile frosted acrylic CNC case with beautiful RGB. It's a tray mount with a six degree typing angle and includes hot swap sockets and runs QMK firmware. The custom PCB accepts three or five pin switches and we decided to swing for the fence in what switch we chose. More on that in a moment. The PCB has dual USB-C connectors so that you can plug into either the left or right side of the board. And I think more companies should look at this design. There were several plate choices we could make with aluminum and brass being the most common, but there was also a polished copper plate for a $60 upgrade. So we chose that. Remember we were talking about switches? I had a few to choose from, but I wanted my first YouTube giveaway to be special. So we're going to use the Key Dot Company's excellent tangerine switches made by C3. These are arguably some of the best linear switches on the market. They sell out almost immediately every time they're offered and they come in 62 or 67 gram spring rates with the 67 being the most popular and the hardest to get. So of course, we're gonna use those. They have gold springs with unwipe housings and while they are very lightly lubed from the factory, we decided to film them with TX films as well as use Crytox 205G0 from DaVinci's to eliminate any possible inconsistencies and to get as much thought as possible. There are so many great reviews on YouTube about those switches and I'm looking forward to one day when I have a set in my own keyboard. Next up is keycaps. Again, there are a variety of choices, but I didn't want to just use some generic offering from Amazon. But I remembered, I have a brand new set of Vaporwave Double Shot PBT caps from Novel Keys. So I hope whoever wins this keyboard likes bright, in-your-face color, because that's what we're going to go with. We will also be including to the winner the rest of the caps not used on this board, as it will give you a whole lot more options in the future. If you ever go down the rabbit hole of custom mechanical keyboards, options are going to be your friend. So let's build this. In the box, you get the case, a small bag with screws, standoffs, a simple but usable switch puller, and stabilizers that will need to be clipped and lubed. Drop also includes a USB-C cable that's plastic and would right at home in the Apple Store. But whoever wins this needs to donate it to someone they don't like very much and purchase a nice quality coiled cable from Space Cables or another quality cable manufacturer. I mean, seriously. No one wants that thing on their desk. I do have an affiliate link with Space Cables that is listed below. If you purchase from them using my link, you will be getting a great product as well as supporting the channel. And they have a custom keyboard inbound soon that you will not want to miss. It's gonna be stellar. Now, while I'm not much of a fan of plastic USB-C cables, the PCB is quite nice. And like I said, has dual USB connections, which I really enjoy. Having the ability to plug into either side of a keyboard is awesome. In a separate box, you will find your plate of choice. Ours is the polished copper, and they have done a genuinely nice job with this as well. The first step with this or any keyboard build is to test the PCB. 
you can go to keyboardtester.com and a set of tweezers will do the job nicely. With the Carina, you can mount the PCB in the housing using the four included standoffs in these positions. You also want to make sure that the LEDs, both top and bottom, work correctly. Once that's done and you have checked each switch for proper function, you move on to the stabilizers. I'm not going to go through the steps of how to clip and lube stabs. There are so many videos on YouTube on how to do this. And while I usually use dielectric grease for stab wires, these were also done with Crytox as a bonus. Once the stabs are finished and installed, it's onto the switches. I also am not going to make you watch while I lube and film 61 switches. If you are interested in how I do that, just let me know below. I can share that I enjoy this part of keyboard builds and I take my time, I do it slowly. I find that being careful and consistent in this step can really make a difference and there is no benefit to hurrying and possibly making a mistake that'll just hurt you later. Once the switches are done, it's back to assembly. Place the four outermost switches in the plate and carefully position them until each of them can be pressed into the PCB. At this point, you might want to check the function of each of the four switches. If all is correct, you can screw it down. I used an electric screwdriver in a lot of the work I do, but this step is better done by hand as you don't want to over tighten these. My rules are that if I am screwing into anything plastic or acrylic, I use manual screwdrivers. Once that's done, it's time to put the switches in. It has been suggested that the Carina benefits from a particular switch installation method, starting with the outside switches first, alternating left and right sides, and working towards the center as the plate has a bit of flex, and this will avoid bend pins. It is probably more important on three pin switches like Holy Pandas, but certainly doesn't hurt anything. Once all the switches have been installed, it's time to plug the board back in, go back to keyboardtester.com, and make sure that every single switch works. If you have a problem, now's the time to correct it. Next up, keycaps. The Carina is the fixed ANC layout, so if you're building one of your own, just look on drop.com for where the caps go to add or change anything, also to understand layers and how to use extra functions. With so many additional caps in this keycap set, the winner will have a ton of options in the future if they ever decide to build their own board or change things up later. I am really pleased with how this keyboard came out. I think it would make a particularly good choice for a first time keyboard builder who wants something easy to modify later without breaking the bank. It's bright, it's funky, and I think it's gonna look great on someone's desk. The next question is, how do you become that person? Rules are pretty simple. You need to be subbed to the channel, do the thumbs up thing, and comment below on why you think this keyboard belongs to you. We, my Twitch mods and I, will choose the top 10 comments that either make us laugh, realize how awesome you are, or some other reason why we think that you should be the winner. From those top 10 choices, we will live in stream read out the comments, and randomly choose one as the winner, approximately 30 days after this video posts. I stream Mondays, Friday, and Saturday, and typically giveaways are all done on Saturday night, 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This one should be no different. You will not need to be present in stream to win, but how cool would it be if you were? I suggest reading the rules in my Discord, and future updates will be posted to my Twitter, linked below. Again, this giveaway is in no way affiliated with YouTube or Twitch and is sponsored solely by myself and Stupid Bullets Tech. Full and complete rules available in my Discord, link below. We wish you all the best of luck and we will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching and until then, be good to yourselves.